In our previous videos about Microsoft Project, that are available in the playlist named Microsoft Project in this YouTube channel, I talked about how to prepare a basic schedule using Microsoft Project, how to assign resources, how to add costs to your schedule, how to assign the WBS code, and how to set a baseline. Once all of these steps are done, this means that the schedule baseline is approved by the involved entities in the project. Now the next thing is to prepare reports from our schedule. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an earned value report from your project schedule. These are the columns that I have added for this particular schedule. The first thing you're going to do is to update the percentages of your activities. Let's assume that survey is completed 100% and design is completed 20%. Next thing, let's change the actual start dates of some activities as they might not be the same as in the plan. For example, we will make the start for the survey 27th May and for the design, the actual start date will be it's 31st May right now. We will go and select 2nd June. As you can see in here, the activities slipped from the baseline. The baseline is what we have planned initially. Next thing is the cost and the baseline cost. The baseline cost was planned for the survey to be $400. But in actual, this activity costed us $1,000. US so these are the necessary changes that should be made to your project schedule in order to obtain a proper earned value chart. Now in order to create the earned value chart, we will go to report. From here we will click on the visual reports. From here we will select the earned value over time report. Click on this one. In here as you can see, select level of usage data to include in the report. So we want to see this on a daily basis. So our x-axis will be shown in days. Now once this is done, you're going to click view. In some cases, from my experience with Microsoft Project, there might be errors which pop up on your screen. If such a thing happens, click OK on that error and click the view button again. Your report will be generated. So from here, we will click view. So once you click the view button, it will take some time and then it will direct you to this Excel screen. Now in this Excel file, click the next sheet which is named Assignment Usage with Earn Value. From there, click the plus button because right now it shows it only in a quarter. So click the plus button from here and maximize the weeks. Now as you go back to the report, as you can see, your earned value report will be generated. You can further format this chart for your dashboards. For example, let's copy this one from this sheet and take it to a new sheet. Paste it here. In here, for example, you don't want to see these buttons, so you will go to Pivot Chart Tools, and from here we will hide them all. Moreover, for example, if you want to add data labels to your chart, go to Design. From here, we will click Data Labels in the center, and you can remove the horizontal and vertical axes. Further, you can format this one like normal charts on Microsoft Excel. For example, let's go to Format Chart Area and remove the fill and the border. You can do the same, for example, to this area, no fill and no line. You can remove these lines from here. And you can do any other types of adjustments, for example, changing the line colors and everything as we did for the normal charts in Microsoft Excel. I hope you found the content of the video helpful. If you did so, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thank you very much for watching.